Well, 8,000 jobs will be created by 2030 in the transport sector, and $25 million will be set aside for the Land Transport Innovation Fund. It's all part of efforts to transport the land transport industry, to transform rather the land transport industry. The land transport industry is driving toward being technology ready, workforce ready and ecosystem ready. The industry will leverage emerging technologies for a safer, more productive and reliable system. For instance, on-demand autonomous vehicles will be deployed as soon as 2022 in three districts. And behind the scenes, smart sensors and drones can perform maintenance and monitoring tasks, including those that may be dangerous. Minister Ko also acknowledged the fears of some workers over these technologies. Globally, land transport is being disrupted by new technologies, AI, automation, mobile connectivity, big data. Some of these technologies can be very unsettling. As a worker, can I fit in? Will I know how to learn to deal with this? Will I lose my job? However, there are always upsides to things. We can also positively ride on them to enhance our land transport system and create even better jobs. The current workforce will be reskilled and upskilled to prepare for these higher value added jobs. A public transport skills framework will be announced in May to chart this. Transport operators and the labor movement are optimistic. Take for example our bus captains. The union will work very closely with the Singapore Bus Academy to co-design, co-develop programs in order to allow them to have training programs for new skills that are needed for jobs that will be created as part of the ITM. SMRT on our part is going to hire many more engineers and many other operations and maintenance staff for the Thompson East Coast Line. And this is part of the industry's effort to build a future-ready workforce. To consolidate the ecosystem, the Land Transport Authority will now drive the development of the industry, including manpower and enterprise. It will begin by setting aside $25 million over the next five years for the Land Transport Innovation Fund to encourage mobility-related research and technology trials.